What's up, YouTubers? It's your girl, Tish Renee, and I am back with another video. You know I have some hot tea for you, but this time I want to kind of get into sitting after a BBL, okay? Because I feel like the girls don't tell the truth when it comes to sitting down, like, you know, and they just, you don't want to, just, just stay tuned. <laughs> So before we get into this, to this video, I just want to acknowledge this fly ass purple hair in my head right now. This is Queen 613. This is my hairline. It is available online. I am definitely going to drop the link, you know, you know, you know, the link will be at the bottom. But I really want to discuss and what's been like hitting on my nerves. It's like seeing people say like they just been walking around on their hands and knees for months avoiding to sit down and like they don't want to sit on their butts and they're just like super nervous about it. And it's just like, girl, girl girl okay stop being nervous first of all okay because if the doctor said you can sit in three weeks honey please have a seat please sit down okay i'm worried about you i want you to sit down i want you to know what it sits like the fat is not gonna go nowhere okay after the time frame the doctor told you that you could start sitting down please sit down on your butt i feel like the girls are like Saying, oh, if you sit down, you're going to lose your butt. Oh, don't sit down. If you sit down, you're going to lose your butt. Ma'am, that's not true, okay? Yes, in the beginning, when you are healing, yes. You are supposed to avoid sitting down, yes. But after, well, my doctor told me after three weeks, have a seat. You can sit down in different time frames and you know just don't go too crazy with it use your bbl pillow use some support okay like i hate when y'all start freaking out about sitting down it's not that serious it's not okay i start sitting down my first week and ma'am do i need to show you this ass ma'am 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 okay stop worrying Stop, please stop worrying, please, okay? The ass is there, okay? Not to mention, not to mention, the fluff fairy came to see you, girl. <laughs> the fluff fairy came to see your girl. <laughs> so stop playing, stop playing with it. Rotate it, I ain't had to put my glasses on for that because I was sleeping when she got here. Hold on, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, and she ain't stay long, I don't know, but when I woke up, she was gone, so she ain't, must ain't had much to do. Okay, okay, you better know it. But no, seriously, <clears throat> back being civilized, relax, okay? Because I hate that for y'all. I really hate that for y'all. It was one girl said that she didn't sit down for three months. Three months? You don't even know how to use your butt no more to sit down. Like, you don't even know how to sit down no more at that point. Like, are you seriously? Are you, are you serious? Like, are you serious? Like, serious, serious? Oh, okay. But anyways, so, please sit down. Stop listening to these crazy girls talking about don't sit down. Get you some good soft pillows. I use a boppy pillow, which my boppy pillow is like... Oh my God, y'all gonna laugh because my, my body pillow big as hell, okay? Because I didn't know how big this ass was gonna be. I didn't know what I didn't know what I was gonna need and what I wasn't gonna need. So let me tell you, okay? I got me a nice ass body pillow and it's so soft. I'm about to show you. A few minutes later. Okay, so I'm back with my body pillow. So this was, just excuse it because it's been through trials and tribulations with me. It's kind of going soft right here. But this was my boppy pillow, okay? Like, do you see how big this is? This thing is so soft. It is so comfortable. I sleep with it every night. Like, come on, sit down, have a seat, please, okay? 
Like, seriously, I really want y'all to sit down. I'm concerned about y'all. Plus, to give you the real tea, once you start sitting down, that's how your butt starts softening. But when I say I do everything with this, like, seriously, like, this this is my baby. Like, I'm, I, I wish I could take it everywhere. It's soft, it's big, I can, you see how I can ball it up? I can lay, make a little palette and lay with it, like, get you. Y'all better come get one of these. It's a BBL pillow, <laughs> okay? No, for real. But this is definitely a good buy. I'm gonna definitely post a link um, for Amazon because I got it from Amazon. I don't exactly remember how much it cost right at the moment, but it wasn't like breaking the bank expensive. Like it was fairly cheap, but I definitely think it's a good investment. Even if you can get the smaller ones, it's ones that's like super small and a lot more portable than this one. Definitely a good investment, especially when you're driving, especially if you got a desk job, okay? But let's talk about the Fluff Fairy. Oh my God, this is Lucci. He's trying to get his camera time. He loves his mommy. Um, we're twinsies, but let's talk about her. Can we please talk about the Fluff Fairy? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like, she ain't stay long. She came and she went, and you know, that's my girl and all. I mean, we kicked it for a minute, and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when did the Fluff Fairy get here though? You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, okay, people would say they Fluff Fairy get there in about three months. Like, oh, I guess he don't, I guess he don't want to record with me no more. But people were saying that the Fluff Fairy usually comes around three months. Um, I know some people said that they never got the Fluff Fairy visit. The Fluff Fairy is really just a myth, <laughs> unfortunately. And for those of you who don't know who the Fluff Fairy is, the Fluff Fairy is this imaginary lady that comes in during the night. And she comes and climbs up under your covers and she grabs your butt and she shakes it. No, just kidding. No, but the fluff fairy is basically um, a period of time where your butt starts to fluff out. And the surgery girls are calling it the fluff fairy. So that's where that term comes from. It's not an actual fairy. Nothing actually happens. There's nowhere you can actually go to. It's just supposed to wake up and boom, the fluff fairy came. But I honestly think it's just you eating um, your protein and the things that you're supposed to eat. Like a lot of girls are eating avocado and stuff and your healthy fats and your nuts and stuff like that. So I think that's really just where the fluff fairy came from. You know, I really think that's what that is. And honestly, honey, I've been eating, all right? So I'm trying to actually cut back a little bit before I get back to where I was, you know what I mean? But yeah, don't, stress yourself out waiting for the fluff fairy to come honestly because it's literally not real <laughs> it's literally not real okay just focus on yourself do what you're supposed to do and then you know just so happens you might you might realize that you done fluffed out a little bit you know got a little fat back there okay like stop stressing you know i think that that's one of the main things that we can do when we get our surgery is we stress out about how our body looks we look at our weight every other day and you know the, all those things are unhealthy okay this is the time where we're supposed to be our healthiest and practice living a healthy lifestyle okay because that's too stressful okay don't take yourself through, through that but all in all, I do say, I do recommend you sitting down. I do recommend, you know, especially sitting down when you can. You know, you want to get your butt soft. You don't want to have that hard butt because you don't want to sit down. Okay? Please sit down. Please get your massages. Please use your BBL pillow. Okay? That's all I can really tell you guys. So, I hope that you love this segment about my surgery. So, I'm definitely going to give you guys a six-month update. Um, so, right now, I am four months post-op, right? So, October, November, December, January. Yeah. So, I'm four months post-op. <laughs> I don't know why I always got to count my fingers. But, I'm four months post-op. And um, this was my before pictures. And this is my after picture. So this is what I looked like um, before and after. 
And honestly, I do think that Cisco did a good job based on what I looked like before. And I didn't really have a foundation. I didn't have like any hips and my legs were straight. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't really have anything. So he basically helped me build the foundation. But I do think that I might, I might get around to I might get around too. So we'll see. And I hope you guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this segment of me talking about my surgery. Um, it was definitely a lot for me to open up about it. And, you know, I hope you guys really will take some of the things I said and listen to them because I wouldn't lie to you, girlfriend. I would not lie to you. But I'm definitely going to jump into a different niche. The next video that you're going to see from me will be a little bit more about fashion. And we're going to get into these online clothing stores because we all shop online, right? Right. So stay tuned for those. Those will be coming out next week. No one is around.